Hi there guys. Well, this time nothing's get, getting blown up, nothing's getting lit. Don't need the quick test. I don't need the meter. And this little fellow, I plan on taking him apart a little bit later. But today's video, I thought I would have a look at something that I picked up today. And of course, I've got a dirty great big uh, line of light going right the, right the way through it. This bench hasn't been set up properly yet. But, as you can see, uh, it is an Aldi brand of one, work zone. Gas, soldering iron, hot air gun, and miniature torch. Now if you bear with me just one second, I'll get some water on the sponge. One end of the man cave to the other. Now, I'm supposed to do soldering up to temperatures of about 450 degrees. Now, I have lit it just to see how quick it heats up, but hang on. If I drop this piece out here, we have an ordinary an ordinary torch. Or take the tip out of this, sliding back up the barrel. hot air gun and even comes with a little hot air deflector supposedly for heat shrink and the likes I haven't got any right on hand but I did think of maybe I'll use this tip for this little test here a few little tests just for the soldering iron now I've got it set down on low and here's the bevel bit. Right. The first thing I'm going to try is I'm solder on some LED tape. Takes a little while to warm the tip. And it is the larger tip too. Um, just down on, like I said, just down on the low setting. Well, it does seem to have worked 
fairly well for that. Let's see if I can get this to focus on that. Come on. Dirty hands. But I think you can get the gist of that. Now we'll try something a little bit different. And I'm going to try my uh, cheapy eBay buddy Chinese solder. Go for soldering. I'm going to wait on that. Holds it a lot better. It's only on low, and it's not really. But we can't adjust. See, the funny thing with this if, is, uh, should this not actually solder this? You can always break out with the torch feature. It's having trouble. But this is uh, a four mil doubled over. Yeah, definitely having hassles with that. But let's give it another idea. The Cobb LED. that hasn't taken. It's sticking. Well, probably more my soldering job, not quite the neatest there, but it has has actually taken on that on that cob. That's a uh, extra surprise there. Now. for a minute. Sort of. Somewhat. Somehow. Yeah. Fortunately, a burn on this bench doesn't matter. I just want that bit. Yeah, I just want that bit.
perils of uh, changing hot objects on the run. Could be a little better, but for the home gamer, I'd say yeah, not bad. I seem to do a couple of things the average 40 watt iron won't do. But, uh, hey, it even comes with a safety cap. Hopefully, stop you burning yourself to smithereens. And that is almost cool enough to handle. One thing I can see that might end up being a problem is that's the, uh, I don't know if you can see it there, right here, that's the, uh, the wire from the piezo sort of jammed up against the side of the, the barrel there. Yeah, how long that's going to work, I don't know. But anyhow. That was a little look at a uh, Aldi brand bloody soldering iron. Hot air gun, reworks, it's got a little miniature rework package in its own right. Oh well guys, I suppose that will be all for now. have a look at this guy a little bit later. See if it's the same as the one the big Clive pulled to bits. I'd say it is. It's very, very reminiscent of the, of the exact same design. But whether it's exactly the same inside, eh, I'll find out. If it is, I'll put it on camera. If not, we don't need to worry about it, do we? Anyhow, 